Hello, how is everyone? Thank you so much for connecting. How do you feel? Very good. Good evening, good evening teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Are you ready for tomorrow? Do you have to work or are you going to relax? Relax. <laughs> hey, good, good. What are the plans? What are your plans for tomorrow? Stay in house because in the other places and uh, there are a lot of people. The Mother's Day is very very crowded. Crowded, yes, I know. So only to stay at home. Only stay at home and celebrate with my family the Mother's Day. Excellent, Neda. Good. Okay. What about the others? What are your plans for tomorrow? Do you have to work? Are you going to sleep in? Are you going to watch movies? What are your plans for tomorrow? In my case, teacher, tomorrow um, I, I will be at work. Elvis, you have to work tomorrow. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, and the normal day. Yes, uh, because I I work uh, all the week. Uh, I only rest the weekend. Ah, okay, okay, but that's good because that means Saturday and Sunday, no problems, right? Elvis, do you always rest Saturday and Sunday? Yes, yes, I rest. Saturday and Sunday. Mm, you see? So maybe tomorrow you have to work, but always Saturday and Sunday, not a problem. It's correct. Okay. Good. Anybody else has any plans for tomorrow? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, uh, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Hi. Um, I, I will go to the Ruta de las Flores with some friends. We will celebrate my, our Mother's Day. Good. With no children. No children. Hey, excellent. Alone. <laughs> Alone. Mother's Day with no children. Yes. <laughs> this is good. Okay. Very nice. It's a nice plan. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, I hope everybody enjoys your day tomorrow. We only have two more classes today and two more classes. And today we're going to begin by reading. Yesterday we finished off in... Section five, we almost completed here 5.9. In 5.9, we have the global village. For this activity, we are going to read together. Okay, so we can see we have many paragraphs. One, two, three, four, and five different paragraphs. They're pretty big, but we're going to try together. Who would like to read paragraph number one? Uh, me. Okay, please read paragraph number one. Okay. More and more often the term global village is used to describe the world and its and its people. In, in most village, everyone knows everyone else, and the people face the same kind of problems. So how can the world be a village when it is home to more than 6 billion people? Political and technological changes 
in the past centuries have made the global village possible. Great. Who is next? Political Me, teacher. Okay. Political changes the years following World War and second seemed to promise peace. In fact, in 1945, the United Nations, the United Nations was founded to help countries resolve disputes peacefully. However, this promise was soon broken by the Cold War dispute and tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. These two superpowers engaged in an arms race, spending house amount of money, of money on weapons. The other nations of the world were divided into two sides and the world was frozen in a state of host hostility. Very good. Only the word huge, huge amounts. Very nice. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, who's the next paragraph? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. One is the Cold War and the other partner, technological changes. Okay, I start. The Cold War finally ended and the political climate changed between 1989 and 1991. 1991, when the government of the Soviet Union and several Eastern European countries collapsed. The end of Cold War tension made the global village, village more politically possible by opening new channels of communication between nations. Thank you very much. Good. Who is the next? Uh, Meter. Okay. Uh, technological change. Technologically, the Greek contributor to the global village is the microchip, microchip and electronic circuit on a chip. The evolution of the microchip has made modern satellites and supercomputers possible. This form of high-tech communication allows new and ideas to travel quickly across the globe. Uh, making people more aware of their neighborhood, neighbor around the world in dramatic new ways. Through, through the internet, we can get information from the computer and carry on electronic conversation with people everywhere. Through television program transmitted by satellite, we are exposed exposed to many culture. Okay, thank you very much. And who's going to read the last part? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, the development of the global village will almost firmly continue into the future. Not only is this probably, but these challenges that the world Faces, for example, conflict among people, pollution, and population growth. Sorry, uh, the the and population growth will make it necessary. Okay, thank you very much. Good. Before we continue, are there any words you don't know? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
the words NJ, NJ, yes. Engaged. Engaged, yes. Engage is to connect or to start. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Your word teacher is teeny. And the bar of teeny, see, sí. bar of um, number four, paragraph four, number four. And it's uh, an electric tiny sheet chip. with um, teeny, teeny sheet. Oh, tiny. Tiny sheet. Uh -huh. Tiny ships are very small. Tiny is small. Thank you, Shichi. You're welcome. Right here. Anything else? The other word teacher, uh, the neighbor. Neighbor. Mm -hmm. yes. Right yes. here, correct? Yes. The neighbors? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is, for example, the person that lives next to you. Oh. The person that lives in front of you or next to you is your neighbor. Thank you, bitch. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other words? Okay, very good. No, teacher. All right. So now we have this. This is the idea is all about the reading practice. That's it. You see, there are no questions there. Okay. So let's go on to the next part. In the next part for today, uh, we have our midterm. Super nice. We have four sections. The first section is a listening. We are going to listen and answer four questions. Okay. Part two is we are going to look at it and there is a mistake. What is the mistake? We're going to correct the mistake for each sentence or question. And then we're going to type in the correct, the new sentence correctly, okay? In part two, we're going to read and select which is the correct phrase or verb to complete it. Part C, we use the vocabulary in parentheses and then we put in the correct form to complete. So we put the correct form and then with infinitive or gerunds. That's the important. In part two, we need to use the time words, in, on, from, to, for, all of those words that we learned about the time to complete here the sentences, okay? In part three, we are going to use the future. We have three different futures. Will, future continuous, and future perfect. You're going to use the correct one to complete the five sentences. And then the last part is like today. Only read, and with the information from the reading, is this true or false? Only a few questions, six questions, if it's true or false. It's okay, the different activities for that midterm? Yes, teacher. Yes. Excellent, all yes. right, wonderful. So in this moment, we are going to have groups and we are going to advance. That way, maybe we can finish today and check. And that way we are relaxed for tomorrow and not have to worry about doing the test on Thursday, okay? Let me make the groups. Okay, let's go.
Neither, Hussein, do you have some problems? And neither. Okay. O sea, ahí en la dos me he quedado. Sí, y está difícil. En mi caso, uh, I start uh, letter A, hey, Lizzie. Oh, mm -hmm. no damos. Y tengo que escuchar el video. I watch it in the video. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ah, pero, ¿Cuál letra es? Letter A. A. Ah, A. Okay. Ajá. Hey, y, y si vamos como en orden para Ajá. ir como complementando todo. Correcto. Eh, I finish. Ok. Eh, you share. Yeah. Yes, no. Ok. Uh, I finish. No. Do you want to, I, to I, I, ah, ok, ok. Entonces... Entonces vamos a ver ahí primero. Yo creo que el video no se va a poder escuchar. Todos ah, no sí. lo vamos a poder escuchar, pero sí. si usted lo quiere, eh, no sé si ya lo tiene Eric. Sí. Ah, o, o si gusta, se las decimos. O, okay. o sí. lo quiere escuchar usted. ¿Cuál es? <risa> O, 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 o se las decimos después que él... El... Sí, después le escuchamos. Ajá. Ajá. ¿Cuál es? La, la, la primera parte. Ajá. Correcto. Share screen y luego share. Ajá. Abajo hay dos, dos, dos botoncitos. Ah, ya, ya. Dice Ajá. share song. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Yes. Ajá, share song. Share. Okay, yo creo que ahora sí. Okay. Yes. Actually, I've tried that all. Sí. Listen to the conversations. Okay. Uh -huh. Check the correct answers. One. Ugh, Frank. I really need to get in shape, but I'm having trouble deciding what's the best plan for me. Well, what about going to the community swimming pool, Sandy? It's a nice pool and just down the street from your place. Actually, I've tried that already, and it didn't work for me. I was too tired to swim after working all day. Then why don't you join that new fitness center near your office? You could go during your lunch hour. I don't know. I've joined gyms before, and I always stop going for one reason or another. They're a waste of money if you're a member but never go. Well, then, I think you've got a predicament. Two. Hey, Sandy, what about getting a personal trainer? Hmm, I never thought of that before. A trainer can help you in two ways. You know, help you get in better shape and keep you motivated. Well, do you know where I can find one? You can probably find ads for trainers on the web. Sure, but I'd rather get a recommendation. You know, from someone who's had one. Oh, I just remembered. My cousin Rachel had a trainer, and she really thought he was great. 
I remember. Then she ran in the Boston Marathon. Amazing. I'll get her number from you then. Three. Hey, Pam, did you see those photos that were sent from the two rovers on Mars? Yes. Isn't it exciting? I love space exploration. Me too. But a lot of it happened before I was born, back in 1985. How long have we been exploring space? Well, the so-called space race really began during the early 1960s, when I was a kid. And ever since, I've really been fascinated by space travel and exploration. Yeah, but I think space travel is finished for now, don't you? Oh, no, Jerry. The future holds a lot of possibilities for space research and travel, and who knows? Four. Well, Pam, do you think by 2050 we will have set up human communities on Mars? Probably not. But perhaps by then people will have bought land on the moon and started building homes on it. No, really? Yes. And those little rovers will be continuing to perform their research on Mars and other planets, too. Scientists will be able to use even bigger robots to do almost anything, like building cities in space. I guess you're right. Just think of our International Space Station. Yes, I think that robots and astronauts will be performing amazing things in the future. Okay, again or or ready? Ready. That's it. Okay. Okay. Number number one. Sandy wants to meet new people. Fran suggests number two. Joining a new fitness center. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Number two, Sandy can get a recommendation for a personal trainer from Frank Cousin Raken. Okay. Number nice. number three. Jerry thinks that the space travel is finished for now. Correct. Right. And number four, mm -hmm. Pam thinks people will build homes on the moon. Okay. Yeah. The answer correct. <laughs> Would you like live in the moon? Morena? Uh, can you repeat a, a question? Would you like live in the moon? Um, <laughs> it, uh, I guess very difficult for food. <laughs> <laughs> no gravity. <laughs> yeah. The gravity, uh -huh. see, is, it be it could be a problem, the gravity. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. wrong. Yes. Uh, is is uh, I I I feel in the moon. What my English? No, que si y y le íbamos a continuar con el resto de los ejercicios. It was a break. <laughs> <And a> break. <laughs> no, 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 el break. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, um, next question Maybe. will be. Hmm. What about uh, you, Jose? You, what, are, um, what do you think? I think there is easy, is sometimes it's hardly, but uh -huh. I I think that we can. Mm -hmm. If right. 
if if we want we can yes yes uh, yeah mm -hmm. okay and I I think the same because if, if we have the opportunity to practice and if we have to, the opportunity to study, we can get that knowledge. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I would like uh -huh. to learn. Um, another another language um mm -hmm. may, may, maybe maybe uh, maybe maybe portuguese portuguese very good yeah, no. portuguese. Uh -huh. very good. i think portuguese is not that very go difficult to understand no, not this muy but i think grammar difficult. can be like like spanish very difficult yeah mm -hmm. i'm agree uh -huh. Okay, another so question. Another question. The, the Portuguese uh, is, is similar, similar to Spanish. Similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Some some many uh, many words are similar. Mm, similar. Similar. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, another another question will be uh -huh. how how often do you practice your English? I practice, well, in my case, I practice just here because I don't have the chance to practice with another people, but I try to, to watch some series or movies to get a better, a better accent and a better pronunciation. And what about you? Is, uh... Uh, I see you um, movies that listen the music in the English is uh, and the learn uh, the greatest uh, mm -hmm. uh, words in English and uh, trans uh, how do you say transcribir transcribir uh, translation translation and do you, do you know? Mm -hmm. No, ah, no, 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 solo no. renew, no. solo ed en renovar, solo, solo esa palabra en pasado, solo, el verbo. No, no me da, no me da. Solo. Ajá, Ajá, sí. Sí. Hacer, pues, sí me salió correcto. Ajá, a mí también podría ser, mire si tiene el signo de interrogación. Ahorita, vamos a ver. Porque sí me dio también. Ay. <risa> si no, a veces son los espacios. Hasta un espacio sí. que puede causar problemas. Uh -huh. Con mi teléfono. ¿eh? <risa> y punto no lleva. No. 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 Sí. Okay. Bueno, yo lo puse. No, solo el, el, el... signo de interrogación. Sí, el, el signo sí. Ok. Ok, continuamos. Mejor. Ok, la mejor. Dicen... Ahí el verbo no, sería no. later, ¿verdad? No me da. <risa> después lo puedes hacer. Eh, Ajá. Después lo vas sí. probando con los espacios y las letras. Ajá, exacto. Ajá. Pero, pero eso, eso, lo, la E de. Ajá. Después, a veces eso me ha pasado a mí. Tengo que darle menos espacio, punto. Quiero ver, later, later sería verbo. No, later es no, cuero. Es cuero. Ah, sí. cuero. El, el verbo es este. Get o can get. Chinese. Chinese. Boot es bota. Líder es cuero. Entonces, Chinese es brillar. Entonces, el verbo. Gracias. Entonces dicen. Tú puedes. Será lo mismo que solo la. E. <risa> Vamos a ver. Tú que está diciendo cómo puedes hacer para que tu bota brille. 
puede hacer que tus botas de cuero brillen. En Joy Shoot Shop, en la tienda de José. Mira. Y no sé si la vamos a convertir a pregunta. No, no, solo es modificar. Yes, sí, yes. Okay. Yes, part two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dice, inst instruction shows the correct three word phrase verb. Thank you for uh, a great solution to my problem. Mm -hmm. The option, option song. Looking forward to coming up with y getting along with. Coming, coming up with. Number two. With. Yes. 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 Num number two, Sam had to get a science tutor. He called, he called the other students in chemistry class. Uh, auction, auction, who to put up with, keep up with, y take care of. No sé bien, Elvis, cómo se pronuncian estas palabras. Put up with, así. Put up with. Put up with. Put up with. Put up with. Take care of. Keep up. Keep up. Take care of. La idea es unirlas. Put up with. Keep up with y take care of. Take care of. Entonces, care of with. Is correct. Is answer correct. Put away. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number three, Michelle has sugar and fat. She lost over 15 pounds. Uh, option are. Uh, Good on. Oh. Uh huh. Come up with a broken. broken you saying to with. reduce, mm -hmm, reduce mm -hmm. sugar and fat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Kudadam. Kudadam. Mm -hmm. Kudadam. Have the song first? Kodam. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kodam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, Kudadam. Jaime. Jaime. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Is that, is, yeah. is, is, okay. Uh, letter C complete the sentences. Uh, instruction complete the, the, the suggestion for possible solution. Number so uh, choose bear if it is yes. Finish, finish, teacher. Excellent. Only way for, mm -hmm. <laughs> for going back. Yeah, only in, in 30 seconds, we're going to go back and check with everybody. Any questions? No question. No questions? Everything is okay? Yes. Good. So now we have the certificate. We pass. <laughs> yes. Eh, oh. Teacher, yo pasé como una hora en la parte, en la letter B, creo que había un error del apóstrofe. Oh, me he dado duro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check. Let's go back and check. Yes. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Wonderful. Let's make sure that we have the correct answers. And if you have any question, we'll explain. Number one, Sandy. Joining a new fitness center. 
joining a new fintech center. Okay, good. Number two. From France, this is Roger. Repeat. From France, who's from Cousin Raquel. Who is Rachel, teacher? Ray, Rachel. exactly. There you go, Rachel. Okay. There you go. Okay. From Frank's cousin, Rachel. Cousin okay. Rachel. Okay. Good. Good. What about number three? He's finished for now. He's finished for now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Good. Number four. People will will hunt on the moon. Okay. Very nice. Let's take a look. Did you see? All are correct. Good. Now, part B. Here, mm, we have to correct the mistake. What was number one? Do you know where I can get? I can get from what to good at my hair. Ah, okay. So the mistake is here. Where? Okay. I can. Oh, I mean, we need to change, right? I can. There, be careful with the spaces. Good. What about number two? Mistake sure. is in the fix. And what is the correct? We have to put fixed in past. Fixed in past. Okay. Oops. There you go. Good. Number three. Have her drivers listen renewed. Renewed. In past, renewed. In past, renewed. Okay, good. In past, renewed. Mm -hmm. Number four. Trying the verb in past two. Okay, no with S. No with S. No. Okay, so with, D. with D. Okay, good. What about for the multiple choice? What is the correct phrasal verb? Coming up with or with. With. Good. Coming up with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number two. Keep up with. Keep up with. And number three. Good down on. Okay. Hey, look at that. All are correct. Remember to put down the verb in the past tense. EDs, ED for renewed, for shined, for fixed. And number one, only change the order. The can and I. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Eh, la voy a hacer en español para, para expresarme bien. Ok, Elvis. Uh, en la primera pregunta, eh, ¿no se supone que cuando preguntamos cambiamos el orden de primero el verbo y después el sujeto? Yes. Entonces, ¿no debería ser can I get? Sí, pero no porque empezás con do you know. Entonces, si se aplica el cambio al, al, al primer eh, pronombre, ya el otro no. Entonces, cuando vas a hacer, por ejemplo, do you know where, do you know what, do you know lo que sea, lo demás es como una oración. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Entonces, cuando escuchas aquí, por ejemplo, do you know where, y lo demás es oración. Elisa can have her driver. Ah, lo mismo, como una oración. Ajá, si preguntara, por ejemplo, where can I get someone to cut my hair? Sí, sí. ahí sí iría el cambio. Correct, eso sí, es. Sí, ¿verdad? El, el, okay. el, el truco es con el do you know. Correct. In auxiliary verb. Exactly. Then we change. Okay. We already yeah. have the auxiliary. 
Exacto. Ya empezamos con do you. Entonces ya está la pregunta. Ah, entonces lo demás es solo la información. Ok. Ok. Good. Let's check section C. Uh, we have to use the words in the correct form. Infinitive or gerund. Here. Infinitive to check out. To check out. Number two. To try. To try. Okay. Number three. Bringing. Gerund. Bringing. 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 Okay. Number here in part two. What is the correct word? What is the correct time? Ago. Ago. Okay. From. From. Nice. During. During. During, okay. And number four. Since. Okay. Great. Now the last part. Here, the different future tenses. For number one, what is the correct form? Will replace. Okay. Number two. Will be used. Good. Number three. Won't need. Ah, the negative. Won't need. Number four. Won't be living. Won't be living. And the last one, what do you think? discovered okay let's take a look a very nice look we'll have discovered won't be living won't need will be used will replace since we can use in or during Good. From and a go. Any questions? No questions. Oh, no? All right. What about the last part? Let's check the last part. The reading. Okay. Let's read together. Who is going to read number one? The Blaster 620. Uh, eso es lo que me gusta. Todo quiere mejorar su inglés. I love it. I love it's it. It's on me. There you it's go. Me. Who's, going to read? Who's going to read? It's on me. Okay, let's do it. The Bluster 620. The Bluster 620 is a new cell phone that will be able to do almost everything. A user won't it has instant messaging, a book in camera, games, and the ability to send and receive, and receive digital files. Of course, you can also use it to make phone calls. It's perfect for people who will be typing a lot a lot of text message. It has a tiny keyboard that folds fold out when you need it. Cutting edge technology. Thank you very much. Good. Who is the next one? Me, teacher. Okay. Going camping. Do you plan to take your cell phone, laptop, MP3 player, or any other electronic device? 
Here's just the thing you will need, the solar feed. It's a tiny solar panel that you can take with you anywhere. It weighs less than a pound, but it generates plenty of power. Just place in the sun and plug and your phone, computer, or, or other device. What a technological achievement. Great. Very nice. And achievement? the last achievement. Yes, achievement. achievement. Mm -hmm. And Thank the last you. one. Mm -hmm. uh, one the latest and coolest invention. The ice cream is for you. It, it looks like a pair of fashionable sunglasses. But when you look through the lens, you see a small screen about two feet away. You can watch movies and download, download your favorite music videos. Perfect for traveling in a style. Great. Any words you don't know? No, all the words are okay. Teacher. Yes. Uh, the war and and the second text and blue blue in your phone. Is the synonym connect? Mm -hmm. Blue in your phone. Plug in the phone is connect your phone. Oh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And the uh, plenty is a lot. A lot oh. of power. Oh, okay. Okay, the others the, are... Hmm? The cutting edge teacher is a palabra compuesta, right? Correct. Cutting edge is similar to the latest technology or the newest technology. Oh, okay. Innovation, like innovation. Yes. Like innovation, yes, like innovation. Teacher, the other word is uh, the lens. No. Lenses. Yes, lens. The glasses, here is the lens, here is the lens. The two lenses. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The others are okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Good. So, number one, true or false? Let's read it and answer. Karen okay. Suleiman, number one. Noe, number two. Raquel, number three. Elvis, number four. Okay. Uh, number one is true. Please read the sentence. Okay. Uh, the the blaster has a fold-down cable for easy typing. Good. Blaster? True. Blaster? Blaster. The Key blaster. Keyboard. Keyboard. Good. The blaster has a fold-down keyboard for easy typing. True. True. Yes, okay. it's true. Good. Good. Number two. The blaster one be able to be like instant instant mess messaging before. Good. Remember the S things. Thing. thing. With S things. Thing. Con la S. Con la S. Things. Things. Thing. Thank, Thank you. you. No. Good. Good. Number three. The solar feed must be plugged into an electrical socket. Pulse. Good. Pronunciation? Plugged. Plugged. Good. Very good. Number four. The solar feed can keep your MP3 batteries to charge in the wilderness. It's true. 
True or false? True. True. Okay. Okay. Good. We're going to check. We're going to check. One moment. Uh huh. Cesar, number five, and Morena, number six. Ice cream is just a fancy pair of sunglasses. Is uh, it's false? Good pronunciation. Ice cream. Ice cream. Good. Mm -hmm. And the last one, Morena. Excuse me, teacher. You can watch your favorite video, video, videos while wearing the ice cream. Is true? Okay. Ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. Good. Cool. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Uh, the pronunciation of video while. What, what is pronunciation of the while? It's correct, while. It's quiet. Oh, okay. While, yes, it's correct, while. Okay, okay thank you. You're welcome. Oh, look at that. Number six, correct. Five, correct. Four, correct. Three, not correct. Look, number three is false. Number three is false, not true. Okay. Number it's two. It's false, teacher. Yes, it's yes. false. It's false. Mm -hmm. Number two is false and number one is true. So only number three, we had to correct. The other ones, very good job. Yes? Yes. Okay, great. Any questions? What did the answer was the number six, uh, five, teacher? Number five. Mm -hmm. Number five was false. Oh, false. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other questions? No. No. Okay. So now everyone is completed. We finish. We have the certificate tomorrow. Really, really? Alguien que le falta algo de la plataforma? Teacher. Ajá, Eric. Bueno, lo voy a decir en español para que me entiendan un poco. Ok. Eh, no sé qué pasa, pero en la parte C de, del examen, uh -huh. en, la, en la última parte, en la parte 3, la, la 3, la 4, no me da y las pongo correctamente. Ok, let's check right now. Don't worry, Eric. La parte C. La, uh -huh. De la parte 3. De la parte 3, ¿cuál número? La 3 y la 4. La 3 y la 4. Mm -hmm. La 3 y la 4. Want... Es el problema. La 3. Ah. Apostrofe. The apostrophe. The apostrophe. The apostrophe is the mistake. The problem Voy a decir que the, en varias computadoras the, hay the dos apostrophe. que se parecen, dos símbolos que se parecen, pero no son el mismo dos símbolos. En el chat está la contracción won't. Copiarlo y pegarlo para que tenga el símbolo correcto. Ok. Ese, ese, da problem, ese da da problemas. Yo creo que uh -huh. esa, la mayoría nos ha dado problemas esas dos. Sí. Eh, habían cuatro. Y teacher, yo probé con, con yes. las dos formas de mi computadora, pero no me agarró ninguna hasta que le di copiar. Ajá, sí. sí. Yo, así, yo así hice también porque no me daba para nada. Sí, es, no sé si es como que una tilde, pero es apostrofe, pero no sé, pero es algo, el símbolo, el símbolo en sí es un problema. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Pero, ¿te, ¿te dio o no te dio, Eric? Sí, sí, hoy sí. Ah, ok, ok. Ese es el problema. Sí, es, es el símbolo, no es otra cosa. Uh -huh. Ok. Good. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguna duda? The plataforma, examen, unidad. Any other questions? No questions. No questions. Shh. 
look at him. Amazing, amazing. He's wonderful. So now we have two more classes. Remember, tomorrow, no class. But yes, class Thursday and class Friday. This week, two classes, Thursday, Friday, but tomorrow, no. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tomorrow, no. No. Day of the mother. Okay. Uh -huh. What do you do on Mother's, Mother's Day? Day? Congratulations. Exactly. Mother. Congratulations to the moms. Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Raquel and Karen and Neida. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm Karen. not a teacher. I'm no, not no. a mother. No, no, no. No, no, yes. No, yes, 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh -huh. Good. Congratulations. Same for the Father's Day. For the Father's Day, she, igual, igual. Uh -huh. You don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 so, what is normal for you in Mother's Day? It's normal to go out, to cook, to stay home, to have a cake. What is normal for you for Mother's Day? Tell me, what is a normal activity for your family? Mm, I visited my mom. Visit your mom. Where does your mom live, Jose? In San she lives in Santana. Ah, and you live in Sonsonate? San Salvador. San Salvador. Ah, it's a little different. It's a, a little distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a little distance. And do you eat in your mom's house? Do you prepare a special food or do you go out to a restaurant? Um, tomorrow she she wants to eat tortas. She likes Mexican tortas. Oh, okay. Hey, it's good. I like Mexican <laughs> food too. It's very nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For Torta Sani. Uh -huh. She And loves it. Mom, mom, don't worry. Pedilo con chiri mode adicional. Dale, no te preocupes. No problem. Aguacate, ponele dos pedazos. It's okay. It is it's a, a, a torta mixta. Double, double, double mixta. Yeah, exactly. Torta mixta. Don't worry. It's okay. Double kiss. Mm -hmm. yeah. Double kiss. Juan Smirno. Ah, vale. Ah, vale. Mm -hmm. para, para eso tenés este hijo. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, I made the question. Where, where, you, where you like to go? And, And she, she said, said Uh, no campero, no no pizza, no pizza, no pizza hat, no, uh -huh. no pizza hat, no, no, no another place to Central Park. Uh, we have to go for two, two Mexican tortas. Mexican tortas. Oh. Wow, <laughs> good mom, very nice, easy. <laughs> It's cheap. It's yeah. cheap. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's very good. Cheap. Cheap. But... cheap. Is some taco for you? Yeah. Cheap. Tu tortas oh, en horchata. Oh, tu tortas en horchata. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the okay. water in the, yeah. the water in the water. Yeah. Well, the water boat. <laughs> well, thank yes. you so much for connecting. Please enjoy your Mother's Day. Have a good time, like Jose. Go to the Mexican food. Have some tortas or chatas. Celebrate your mom. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night. 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 Good night.